Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 5th, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Looking at here, the last 48 hours of sun imagery, brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. This is now updated with the most recent imagery. As we did have quite a large plasma filament eruption in the southern hemisphere. Big sunspot cresting in, looking at the last 48 hours incoming. Left hand side, active region. Looking at a little earth to scale, outgoing position. Don't mind the little glitches there. Large solar prominence erecting from the solar surface in the northern hemisphere. And a closer look here at that plasma filament eruption in the southern hemisphere. And as well, quite a large plasma prominence north and southeast. Looking at multi-spectrum, the last 48 hours of events. You can see a couple solar tornadoes spinning around the northern hemisphere around the pole as well pretty big sunspot region earth facing right now and there's that big active region cresting in another look here 193 angstroms showing coronal holes which would be blackened regions no coronal holes to talk about right now just a couple Pretty close sunspot regions in the north. And a large one getting ready to come into view, cresting southwest. Quick look at those sunspot regions there in action. Solar X-ray flux remains in heightened sea range after we saw two almost M-class solar flares in the past 24 hours. Geomagnetic activity sitting at about a KP of 3 after being up over 5 yesterday. Real-time solar wind sitting at about 459 kilometers per second. Jacked up to about 500 kilometers per second just about a couple hours ago. But some discrepancies in the data here, a little bit of missing data. ISWA space prediction spiral showing outgoing CME. And as well, another outgoing CME backside. Expecting a space weather right now and right up until the 8th of January. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 5 with the blackout. Quick look at the telemetry there. Quality of 6, amplitude of 5, power of 5. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours across the world. As we've seen minor activity around the world today, sitting at just under 170 earthquakes, according to USGS. But we're going to start out here with the largest, the last 24 hours, a 5.9 earthquake, Germ, Afghanistan, at 193 kilometer depth, pretty deep for the region, as well as 4.2 there, Kunduz and Arash, Tajikistan, 4.4. 4.9 earthquake, Jingjiang, China, 4.9, and as well as 4.6 reported, Myanmar, 4.9 there, reported Somalia Plate, as well as 4.4 there in Greece, northeastern coastal region. And the Rick Jane's Ridge, 4.9 and a 4.5 ringing out there today. South Sandwich Islands still seeing activity, 4.9. And across South America, largest through the region was a 5.1 in Erica, Chile, 130 kilometer depth. Minor activity right up the Chile coastline, Atacama there, 4.6. And as well a 4.9, Santa Rosa, Peru, 5.3 here. La Esperanza, Mexico, Cocos Plate, and then the Caribbean Plate, 
Largest through the region was a 4.3 Dominican Republic, but 114 kilometer depth. Across the U.S., pretty quiet. No major earthquakes to report there, no swarms. Residual activity through Hawaii. 5.3 earthquake here, Vanuatu, and 4.9 Fiji region. Deepest earthquake today, 391 kilometer depth. Also a rare earthquake here to report, Western Australia. 4.4 there, Banda Sea, and lots of activity around Taiwan today. 4.2s ranging to 4.4, and as well a 4.3 there, Northern Japan. Quick look around the world for the last seven days for earthquakes across the planet. Lots of red icons right now, fours and fives, many of them the past 36 hours. So heads up, stay safe, stay aware, prepared, and just be ready for anything. Hashtag no fear here. I want to thank everybody for hitting that like button and as well subscribing to daily events worldwide. We are very, very close to topping 60,000 follows. Thank you all ever so much. So grateful to have you along for this journey. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well, tracking the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Looking at Senge in Ecuador, Fuego in Guatemala, Shevelich in Russia, Swiss in Ajima in Japan, Popopiquetito in Mexico, Reventador in Ecuador, Sabincaya in Peru, and then many flood alerts here, just under 200 active hazards especially across the California state with the atmospheric river penetrating. One last volcano in Nevada, the Ruiz in Colombia. So that's about 10 volcanoes getting updated today amongst the 44 that are active across the planet. Large low pressure system over eastern Canada. Still bringing some moisture across Ontario and gray skies. And that moisture is about to turn to flurries. Big system, west coast, bringing tons of rain and heavy snowfall in the higher Sierra Nevadas and California. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected in the California state. You're going to see some major floods the next few days. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean and Australia, still a deluge of systems affecting northern Australia. Some intense weather moving through Saudi Arabia today with that mesocyclone that came off of the Mediterranean. Now let's get to your weather forecast brought to you by Ventu Sky and Daily Events Worldwide. Having a look at precipitation over the next few days, overlooking Ontario and Eastern Canada, United States, clearing out, but then another system going to bring spotty showers across Eastern U.S., a low a dropping from Hudson Bay, going to bring snow to Quebec. And then looking at the West Coast, this is the big story, as we have five low-pressure systems that are going to be affecting the U.S. coastline over the next four to five days, especially Monday into Tuesday, 9th into the 10th, heavy coastal rains right up the California coastline, Oregon and Washington and into BC. So stay safe, be ready folks. Overlooking South America, not much to talk about here. Daily evaporation rains, no major systems affecting you. Overlooking Africa, quite a bit of heavy rains affecting South Africa right now and will so for the next couple days as that system moves northward going to bring some extreme weather to central parts as well madagascar overlooking europe united kingdom has already seen one low pressure system come in and you've got another one on your doorstep so very windy conditions and as well wet waves of moisture swinging through here mesocyclone developing there through the mediterranean another one in the long range Looks like that'll be heading towards the coastal regions of Egypt and Israel. 
overlooking West Pacific and Southeast Asia. No major weather systems developing through this long-range forecast. And then we get to Australia, where we still have that low-pressure system, Ellie, over the northern parts, and is set to head southeastward here, but breaking down high-pressure ridge ahead of that. And then developing yet again eastern part, eastern side of Australia. Long-range forecast, not much showing. Quick glance here over the Pacific Ocean, watching that atmospheric river of moisture stretching and pulling moisture from the equator. So tons of moisture is expected here over the next few days with that atmospheric river. Quick look here at nullschool.com showing our winds at 10 hectopascals. It's 100,000 feet, our upper level winds. This is the polar vortex spinning around our northern hemisphere, around our north pole, wherever it may be. Noting how, how far south those winds are trekking down. Equatorial Warmth and moisture being mixed in with this polar vortex. But I wanted to show you our upper level winds back on this day at this time, 2022 last year. Noting here where the winds were and where they are now. And they're all tracking straight into the west coast of the United States. Over the next few days, watch for that to continue. Strong high-pressure ridge, dominant through the North Pacific. Much love, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.